Imagine a helmet that can see danger before the soldier can. This is real. Right now, on modern battlefields, a new kind of technology is changing everything. It's not about building a better tank or a faster jet. It's about upgrading the soldier. The most important piece of gear any fighter wears is their helmet. For decades, it was just a piece of hard protection, a shell. But what if that shell could think? What if it could see, warn, and connect? That what if is now a reality. Developed in Israel, a nation that has faced constant close quarters threats, this isn't a lab experiment. It's a battle-tested system. They asked a simple, brutal question. How do we keep our soldiers not just alive, but 10 steps ahead of the enemy? The answer was to turn the helmet into a command center. This video is a breakdown of that incredible piece of gear. We're going to look at it layer by layer. You'll understand how it works, why it was built, and how it makes a single soldier a far more powerful force. This is about survival, awareness, and a total shift in combat. Stay with me. First, let's talk about the physical thing itself, the helmet. If you're going to add heavy technology to a soldier's head, you have to start by making the base lighter and stronger. Israeli engineers did just that. They use advanced composites, think of layers of super strong fibers and resins, molded into that familiar helmet shape. But this material is lighter than the old steel or Kevlar helmets of the past. A soldier can wear this for an 18-hour mission without getting a stiff neck. That might sound small small, but in a fight, fatigue gets you killed. Being comfortable lets you stay sharp. But comfortable doesn't mean weak. This shell is designed to stop rifle rounds, shrapnel from explosions, and the impacts of falls or crashes. It's the essential foundation. Protection first. Now inside this tough shell is where the magic starts. It's not a one-size-fits-all. The padding and harness system are highly adjustable. They mold to the individual soldier's head. This is critical for stability. When you're running, ducking, or looking quickly side to side, your helmet cannot wobble. If your vision shakes, you miss targets. This secure fit makes the helmet feel like a part of you. And right in front of your eyes, built into the visor, is a clear screen. They call it a heads-up display, or HUD. You might have heard of these in fighter jets or fancy cars. Now it's in a helmet. This screen doesn't block your view. Instead, it projects information onto the visor, so it appears to float in the world in front of you. What kind of information? Imagine a tiny transparent map in the corner of your sight showing where your teammates are, little green icons for friends. You see navigation arrows pointing to your next waypoint. You get warning symbols if there's a reported hazard ahead, like a tripwire or an ambush site. All of this is in your field of vision. You never have to look down at a handheld GPS or a paper map. Your eyes stay on the terrain, on the windows, on the shadows. Your focus stays on the fight. But the helmet knows more than just your GPS location. It is covered with tiny hidden sensors. These sensors create a 360-degree bubble of awareness around the soldier. Some listen for the unique crack of a bullet passing nearby, calculating where it came from. Others are microphones that filter out normal battle noise and highlight suspicious sounds, a weapon being cocked, footsteps on gravel, a whispered conversation. This constant stream of data is fed to a small computer in the back of the helmet. This computer processes it all in real time. It's not giving the soldier raw data. That would be overwhelming. It's giving them answers, a warning, a direction, a highlight. This brings us to the heart of the system, situational awareness. In a firefight, confusion is the enemy. Not knowing where the shots are coming from, not knowing where your friends are, that's how people die. This Israeli helmet system is designed to eliminate that confusion. Let's paint a picture. A soldier moves into a dense, bombed-out city street. It's quiet too quiet. Their normal senses are on high alert, but they can't see so much. They can't see around corners, they can't see through walls. But their helmet is working. The thermal sensor, which sees heat, detects the warm outline of a person hiding behind a broken concrete wall 50 meters ahead. Immediately, a soft red outline appears on the soldier's HUD, marking the hidden enemy's position. They haven't seen them yet with their own eyes, but they know they are there. 
At the same moment, the acoustic sensor on the left side of the helmet pings. It heard the distinct metallic click of a rifle safety being switched off, coming from a second-story window to the left. A second red marker appears on the HUD at that window. In less than two seconds, the soldier has identified two hidden threats that would have been a complete surprise. Now they have a choice. They can alert their squad silently, they can take cover, or they can prepare to engage both targets. They have been given the gift of time, precious seconds to make a decision before the enemy opens fire. This is the ultimate advantage. It turns a reactive soldier into a proactive hunter. You are no longer waiting for the ambush. You are discovering it before it triggers. The system can also track the trajectory of incoming fire. If a sniper's bullet whizzes past, the sensors can trace its path back to the origin point. A flashing icon appears on the HUD, showing the likely sniper's nest. Instead of diving for cover and hoping, the soldier knows exactly where to fire back, or where to direct supporting fire. This awareness isn't just about seeing enemies, it's about understanding the entire battlefield. The HUD can display the boundaries of a minefield, uploaded from command. It can show safe routes for retreat. It can highlight a building that is designated as a rally point. All this information is layered over the real world, creating a kind of digital truth over the chaotic reality of combat. Now, knowing everything is useless if you can't tell your team. Communication in battle is old, clunky, and dangerous. Radios crackle. You have to press a button, speak, wait for a reply. Your voice can give away your position. Messages get confused. This Israeli helmet fixes this. It builds a silent digital network for the entire squad. Think of it like a secure Wi-Fi network that only your team is on. Every soldier's helmet is a node in this net. Here's how it works, in practice. That soldier who just spotted two hidden enemies with his helmet sensors doesn't need to get on the radio. With a simple glance at a target on his HUD and a voice command, or even just a thought-triggered interface, he can mark that target. Instantly, that same red outline appears on the HUD of every other soldier in his squad. They all see the same threat, in the exact same spot, in real time. One soldier finds a safe path through Rebel. He marks it with a green root on his display. It appears on everyone's display. The squad leader needs to change the attack plan. He draws a new maneuver line on his map view. It pops up on the team's HUDs. No talking, no misunderstanding. Just silent, perfect coordination. This creates something incredible. The squad stops being five separate soldiers. They become one single organism with five pairs of eyes and five brains, all connected. They share one consciousness of the battlefield. They can perform complex flanking maneuvers or room clearances with barely a whisper. For an enemy, this is terrifying. They aren't fighting individuals. They are fighting a hive mind that sees all and moves as one. This communication is also encrypted and jam resistant. The enemy can't listen in and they can't easily block the short-range digital signals. It makes the team's coordination reliable even when traditional radios fail. One of the most fearsome parts of modern war is the threat you never see. The roadside bomb, the booby-trapped door, the drone dropping a grenade from above. The helmet's next trick is threat prediction. It's not just about seeing enemies, it's about spotting danger from objects in the environment. Some versions of the system are linked to small radar units or can connect to drone feeds. This lets the helmet system see things a human eye cannot. For example, it can analyze the pattern of the ground and flag a patch that has been recently destroyed disturbed, a possible sign of a buried IED. It can scan a doorway and using millimeter wave tech similar to air court scanners detect unusual metallic masses hidden behind it. If a small enemy drone is buzzing overhead, the system might identify it as a hostile UAV and flash a warning, drone threat above. This gives the soldier a chance to look up, take cover, or use a counter drone weapon. It's like giving every soldier a personal guardian angel that is constantly scanning the world for hidden traps and aerial threats. This moves safety from being about armor that stops a blast to intelligence that helps you avoid the blast altogether. War doesn't stop when the sun goes down. In fact, many operations happen in darkness, and battles happen in dust storms, rain, and fog. The Israeli helmet system is built for all of it. 
Flipping down the visor activates a suite of vision modes. The night vision is not the old fuzzy green glow. It's high definition, providing a clear, bright picture of the night. But it goes further. With a simple command, the soldier can switch to thermal vision. This sees the heat signatures of everything. A hidden enemy, still and cold, might blend into the night with regular night vision. But with thermal, their body heat makes them glow like a light bulb against a dark background. In a thick sandstorm or smoke, where normal sight is zero, thermal can cut right through. The HUD can blend these views too. Maybe it shows a normal view but outlines living things in a bright color. This fusion vision ensures that no matter the conditions, pitch black, foggy, smoky, the soldier never loses their most critical sense, sight. This is a massive force multiplier. It takes the cover of darkness, which has always favored the attacker, and hands it to the equipped soldier. They own the night. All this information, from the sensors, from the drones, from command, needs to be managed simply. A soldier in a fight cannot fiddle with a touchscreen or type a password. The interface of this helmet is brilliantly simple. It often uses a combination of voice commands, mark target, a small rugged touchpad mounted on the soldier's rifle stock, and even eye tracking. To select a menu item on the HUD, the soldier simply looks at it for a split second. A click of the tongue or a bite sensor can be used to confirm. This keeps their hands on their weapon, their eyes on the threat. Training is, of course, intensive. Soldiers spend hours in simulators getting used to the flow of information, learning to trust the system until it becomes second nature. The goal is for the technology to fade into the background. The soldiers shouldn't be thinking, how do I use my helmet? They should just be thinking, I know there's an enemy behind that wall, and act. Finally, let's talk about the mind. Combat is as much psychological as it is physical. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt are deadly. This helmet, perhaps its greatest gift, provides something priceless, confidence. A soldier wearing this system moves differently. They move with purpose. They enter a room knowing if it's clear. They advance down a street knowing where the threats are likely to be. This confidence makes them faster, more aggressive in a good way, and more decisive. For the enemy, this creates a psychological nightmare. They are facing soldiers who seem to know everything, who are never surprised, who coordinate silently and perfectly. Attacks fail. Ambushes are revealed. This can break the enemy's will before the shooting even starts. The helmet becomes a tool not just for physical protection, but for mental domination. So, what does this all mean? Israel, facing real and persistent threats, has pioneered a fundamental shift. They moved the helmet from being a piece of passive protection to being an active intelligence and survival system. It merges the soldier with the network, creating a new kind of warrior, one who is aware, connected, and predictive. This isn't science fiction. It's in use today. It represents the clear direction of all infantry technology, enhancing the human, protecting the human, and giving them every possible tool to survive and complete their mission. This is about saving lives and accomplishing objectives with minimal risk. It's the logical, brilliant response to the chaos of the modern battlefield. The goal is simple. Make sure your soldiers come home. This helmet is a huge leap toward making that a certainty.